Hey guys, so I'm at Walmart right now. I'm actually gonna show you guys over 20 different ways you can save money at Walmart. And I'm betting at least one of them you have never heard before. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Not to mention that since Walmart has changed the price matching policy at over 800 stores across the country, these tips are definitely gonna help you out. All right guys, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more money saving videos like this Walmart video and click the notification button so you get an update when those videos go live. Clearance prices that end in a OO or an O1 are typically final cost or final sale. So if you see any of those in the clearance section or on random shelves, you'll know that that is the lowest price that item is gonna go. So if there aren't very many, you're gonna wanna grab those as fast as possible and check out. When you see a product's been marked down and this last number is a five, that typically means that it'll get marked down again. So if there's only a few of those, you might want to buy it anyway. But if there's a lot of something with that last number as a five, you might want to wait to see if it goes any cheaper. In the electronics section, a lot of the clearance items are actually locked away behind the glass. And again, look, these are final price markdowns for expensive high-end electronics. So you're gonna need to ask a Walmart employee to get them out for you. I do wanna point out that just because it has a zero zero doesn't mean it's a final price because the zero zero only works on products that say clearance on the tag as well. Like all of these, they end in a zero zero and they have a clearance tag, so you know that is one of their final prices. Okay guys, don't forget about Walmart's coupon policy because let's say that you have a coupon for $2 off cereal and the box of cereal is only $1.50. If you're just buying the cereal, you get 50 cents back cash from Walmart, which is super cool. And if you're buying other things in your cart, that 50 cents will go off towards something else on your total. So you get the full value of your coupon no matter how much the product actually costs and it's listed in their coupon policy. So it's a big deal and it's super awesome because if you can use your coupons effectively, you can get money back from your purchases. And if you didn't know, Walmart has $4 generic medications that you can pick up. There's a full list, you can just click on the list to see if your medications qualify. $4 generics for a 30 day supply or a three month supply for $30 is a great deal. When it comes to markdowns for fresh food items like things in the bakery or fresh meat, you're gonna to wanna to head to Walmart first thing in the morning. Typically, markdowns happen as early as 8 a.m. in the morning and as you guys know, they go first come, first serve. Another little trick I wanted to share with you guys has to do with clearance items you find on walmart.com. You actually search the word clearance, it will pull up every single clearance item from the entire Walmart site in one site on one page. It is so cool because that way you're not searching through all the Walmart pages trying to find the clearance items. One thing I will say though is that you need to make sure that you check the little box that says the retailer is walmart.com. That way all of your Walmart clearance items will show up and not items from third parties. Same goes for refurbished items. Again, type the word refurbished into walmart.com and you guys will see all the refurbished items on one page. It's kind of like a sneaky fast way to get there. And this is a great way to save money. I mean, look at that MacBook deal. It's $1,100 cheaper than its original price. Now it's time to introduce you guys to something that is brand new. It's called the pickup discount. Basically, by agreeing to pick up your item in store instead of having it shipped, Walmart is actually gonna give you an additional discount. Typically, the discounts are anywhere from 5 to 10%, so it can definitely add up. I will link you guys to the special landing page for this. So you guys can find it quickly instead of having to go through all the rigmarole of trying to find the page. When you're anywhere on the Walmart site, you'll actually see that it says discount and free pickup, so you'll know that it's part of the promotion. And then when you click on the product, you'll be able to see that it actually does give you a discount. Typically, what I'm seeing is 5 to 10%. This TV is $5.99, and you're getting a discount of $5.63 if you decide to pick it up in store. Another example would be the Roomba vacuum. Its additional discount for picking up in the store is $3.96 off. The Walmart savings counter is probably something most of you know about, but I wanted to make sure I mentioned it for anyone who doesn't know about it. Walmart basically has a brand new app that's called Savings Catcher. Just download it on your phone. After you've purchased anything at Walmart, just scan your receipt on the app and Walmart will check the prices. If it finds a lower price in certain categories, it'll give you back the difference on a Walmart gift card. It's not foolproof, but it will give you back some great money throughout the year. 
Another tip I need to give you guys, especially because the price matching is almost donezo, um, to always buy the store brand. So you'll see the store brand of unsweetened applesauce is $1.53, whereas the same exact thing from Treetop is $2.47. The only difference is the name, guys. Literally, a lot of these brands are manufactured in the same exact plant. One gets stuck with a Treetop sticker, and one gets stuck with a Great Value sticker. So just remember, a lot of the products are exactly the same, but they'll save you a lot of money if you can stick to the store brands, except for the brands you happen to be loyal to. Did you guys know that Walmart has free two-day shipping? If not, it's basically Walmart's answer to Amazon Prime, although there's no membership fee. It's a little bit different. Basically, free two-day shipping is available on certain products, and if your order total is over $35 or more, you can get free two-day shipping without paying a yearly fee like you do with Amazon, and then any orders under $35, you pay $5.99 for two-day shipping. And just as a reminder, the products do have to say two-day shipping underneath it to know that it qualifies for the two-day free shipping. And again, I'll link you guys to all of the links to find all these special landing pages from Walmart below in the YouTube description. We already talked about the in-store pickup, but that was for the pickup discount and only select products qualify for that. Basically, anything else that you buy online can be chosen to be picked up in-store instead in order to save on shipping costs or because you need it faster. And for those of you frustrated with how long it took to pick up in-store orders in the past, they have changed that because now they have a mobile check-in to make all of your in-store pickups even faster. And of course, I have more secret landing pages for you. It's so hard to navigate the Walmart site and find what you need. Um, there's a special page called Saving Showcase. It has all the clearance, rollbacks, special buys, everything on one page. So if you want to find something on sale, that's the place to go. Walmart also has a Dare to Compare section Basically, they've already price matched and guaranteed their price matches for all the products on this page against other stores like Amazon, Best Buy, Target, Home Depot, Babies R Us. So you'll know for sure that anything on this page is the same price as those other stores or even lower. So we'll also want to check inside end caps for clearance deals. That's typically where they hide a lot of them. At Walmart, they do have the yellow balloons, which helps. You can find more clearance deals if you go to the inside of every single aisle. This is a really great example of an inside end cap. Look at all the clearance items on the back of this thing. And if you didn't walk inside the aisles, you never would have seen it. Now, even though Walmart has shut down in-store price matching at over 800 stores across the country, they still do online price matching. Did you guys know that? If you find another price cheaper from another online retailer, you can get walmart.com to actually match that price. And I'll give you guys more details below on how to do that. All right, guys, well, it's time to do a giveaway. We're gonna give away some Walmart gift cards, so check the YouTube description below to get entered. If you're on your phone, click the triangle over here and pop that open. And that's it, that was our video, guys. I hope it helps you guys the next time you go to Walmart to save even more money. And hopefully you guys learned something you guys didn't know before you watched this video. So give this video a like, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.